when you um when you grow up and you hear about people getting divorced, you think to yourself, well, that's a terrible thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's yeah. a terrible thing. That's a terrible thing. <laughs> like, I, I hate that. That's a terrible thing. When you actually go through it and you start talking to other people who've been divorced and you realize how many people are walking around with, with wounds. I know. You know? Oh, yeah. And like they don't have to be, it doesn't have to be some big cataclysmic abusive kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's that... Um, it's that choosing to love someone and giving yourself to them completely. And then for whatever reason, the happily ever after doesn't last until ever after. Right. And then you have to figure out what's next. And you have to figure out who you're going to be in the next spot and what you're willing to do with your heart, you know, and your time and your energy and all of that kind of, st of stuff. And that's a different, that's a, different kind of love it's a different kind of thing and that that I think is what I want to that's what I want to tell now that's the story that I want to talk about now is, is the, the what happens afterwards I read something this week where it was a, a poet um, who said that you know maybe the brokenness is the point you know maybe the beauty is found in in our in our broken pieces rather than than it it being like this always striving to be whole and i think that there's something in there i i don't know exactly what it is yet because mm -hmm. i haven't found it myself yet right um but i think that that's what i like our, from a creative standpoint that's what i want to wrestle with that's what i want to that's what i want to explore <laughs>